In the 21st century, Russia returned to the Arctic with a vengeance. A massive, multi-billion dollar investment created a chain of new and refurbished military bases, airfields, and sensor stations across its vast northern coastline, a formidable Arctic shield. Powerful new warships and submarines began to patrol the icy waters, but this gleaming new fortress had a crumbling foundation. An army, no matter how advanced, is only as strong as its supply line. And the logistical fleet of the Russian Navy's northern fleet, the ships tasked with the punishing, unglamorous, but absolutely vital work of supplying this new frontier, was a museum of rusting, Viet-era relics. The problem was one of age and decay. The fleet of auxiliary icebreakers, ocean-going tugs and supply vessels were, for the most part, ghosts of the Cold War. These were ships built in the 1960s and 70s, worn down by decades of brutal service. They were inefficient, prone to mechanical failure, and lacked the modern navigation and maneuvering systems needed to operate safely and effectively in the increasingly complex Arctic environment. Russia had built a 21st century Arctic military, but it was being supported by a 20th century supply chain. This was not a minor issue. It was a critical strategic vulnerability. What happens when the aging tug sent to assist a billion dollar frigate in the ice suffers an engine failure? What happens when the ancient supply ship carrying food and fuel to the isolated garrison at the Kotelny Island base gets trapped in the ice? Its own ice breaking capability too weak to break free. The entire Arctic shield, this powerful projection of national will, was dependent on a logistical chain that was fragile and on the verge of collapse while the world's attention was focused on the mighty nuclear-powered icebreakers of Rosatom Flot, carving paths for commercial tankers. The Navy's own organic support fleet was withering away. The they could not rely on civilian vessels for purely military miles. tasks. This created a dangerous paradox. Route. The more Russia built in the north, the more vulnerable its supply lines became. The new Arctic fortress needed more than just guards at the gate. It needed a modern, reliable, and powerful workhorse to keep it alive. It needed a new hero, a modern-day bogatir. The solution was the first major military icebreaker to be built for the Russian Navy in nearly 45 years. It was Project Tui-1180, a new generation of diesel-electric icebreaker designed from the keel up to be the ultimate Arctic multi-tool. And in a powerful statement of intent, the lead and so far, only ship of this class was named Ilya Muromets, after the most legendary of the Bogatyrs, the epic heroes of Russian folklore, a figure of immense strength, integrity, and unwavering reliability. The Ilya Muromets was designed to be the perfect synthesis of modern technology and practical, robust capability. First, the problem of power and maneuverability. Instead of a traditional shaft and rudder system, she was equipped with two 360-degree azipod thrusters. This advanced propulsion system, where the propellers are mounted on steerable pods, gives her incredible agility, allowing her to turn on a dime and move sideways, essential for maneuvering in tight, ice-choked harbors, or for holding a precise position while working alongside another vessel. Second, the problem of versatility. She was not just an icebreaker. Her design fused the capabilities of multiple ships into one hull. She is a powerful ocean-going tug, capable of towing any vessel in the Russian Navy's inventory. She is a supply vessel, with cargo cranes and a large open deck for containers and vehicles. She is a scientific research platform, with dedicated labs and equipment for hydrographic surveys. And she is a patrol ship, capable of carrying light armaments and serving as a command platform for smaller craft. Third, the problem of efficiency. Her modern diesel-electric power plant gives her an immense range of over 9,000 nautical miles and an endurance of up to 60 days, allowing her to conduct long-range missions across the entire northern sea route without needing to refuel. With an ability to break ice up to a meter thick, the Ilya Muromets was the modern, reliable, all-in-one workhorse the Northern Fleet had been waiting for. Commissioned into the Northern Fleet in November 2017, the Ilya Muromets was immediately put to the test, and she proved her worth decisively. Her entire first year of service was a series of complex, long-range missions designed to validate every one of her unique capabilities. 
she embarked on a long transit from the Baltic to her home port of Murmansk, proving her blue water endurance. Once in the Arctic, she became the indispensable backbone of the fleet. We see her in official Russian Ministry of Defense footage on a resupply mission to the remote outpost on Alexandra land, her cranes lifting vital cargo ashore. We see her participating in major naval exercises, acting as a towing and support vessel for larger combatants. She has conducted extensive hydrographic surveys, mapping the seabed of the Barents and Kara Seas to ensure safe navigation for the Navy's new ballistic missile submarines. Her most important proof is her constant, reliable presence. Since her commissioning, the Ilya Muromets has been one of the most active and hard-working ships in the Northern Fleet. She has successfully replaced several older, single-purpose vessels, performing their jobs more efficiently and more reliably. She has become the new standard, the benchmark against which all future Arctic support ships will be measured. She is no longer a prototype. She is the proven, beating heart of the Navy's northern logistics. The legacy of the Ilya Muromets is one of rebirth and rationalization. She represents the beginning of the end for the northern fleet's decaying Soviet-era auxiliary fleet. She is a symbol of a new, more pragmatic approach to Arctic naval power, an understanding that the glamorous, high-tech combatants are useless without the quiet, professional, and modern support ships that keep them running. She is the modern-day bogatir, a protector and an enabler. While the nuclear icebreakers of Rosatom Flot serve the grand national economic strategy, the Ilya Muromets serves the fleet. She is the guardian of the guardians, the ship that ensures the soldiers and sailors at the tip of the spear have what they need to stand Approaching the watch. The port now. Her success Keep has paved course. the way for future projects, proving the viability of the multi-purpose diesel electric icebreaker as the new cornerstone of military support in the high north. The Ilya Muromets is the unsung hero of the new Arctic. She is not the most heavily armed or the most famous ship in the Russian Navy, but she is one of the most important. She is a testament to the fact that true strength lies not just in firepower, but in endurance, versatility, and the unwavering reliability to get the job done. She is the quiet giant, the modern workhorse, the Arctic Bogatyr. Share this video to explore the story of Project 211 